Now let's have a look at the following example. Thomas Nehale operates a manufacturing entity. He provided you with the trial balance as at 28 February 2019. Now over here we can see the trial balance. What's required is to prepare an income statement of Thomas Nahale for the year ended 28 February 2019 showing the following sections, the manufacturing section, the trading section and the profit and loss section. Then also we need to prepare the statement of financial position for Thomas Nahale as at 28 February 2019. Now the additional information we will go through one by one. Now firstly inventory on hand was raw materials 13,560, work in progress 3,280 and finished goods 5,400. Now there actually needs no calculation for this point. All we need to do is to enter these three items in the relevant position in the income statement. A better description of your three different types of are as follows. You'll have your raw materials, which consists of your, say, your salt, sugar, and wheat. Those are the ingredients you need to produce the bread. Then you have your work in progress. Remember what that means? It means that work that is still in progress, work that has started but not yet completed. And then you will have your finished goods. Your finished goods is your finished product, which is your bread. Okay, the second point is insurance paid in advance, 1,500. Insurance is apportioned equally between the factory and the office. Let's have a look at how we will do that. Okay, we have our manufacturing section and we have our profit and loss section. But the part that is shared is insurance. So firstly, we need to handle the adjustment. We have an amount of 5,800 and insurance was payable in advance by 1,500. That means we need to decrease our expense with 1,500. That will give us 4,300. And now we need to divide that by 2 because the insurance is apportioned equally and that will give us 2,150. So at the end of the day, 2,150 will go to the manufacturing section and the same amount 2,150 will go to the profit and loss section. Our third point shows water and electricity are apportioned between the factory and the office in the ratio of 3 to 2 respectively. And remember when we're working with ratios, we need to add up the two numbers to get the denominator. So the denominator will be 5. Let's have a look at how we should calculate this in the manufacturing section and in the profit and loss section. So water and electricity, we have 4,300 times 3 divided by 5. That will give us 2,160. We will have 4,300 times 2 divided by 5. That will give us 1,440. So the 2160 we will put in the manufacturing section, 1440 we will put in the profit and loss section. Let's have a look at our next point. Rent is apportioned on the basis of floor space. The office occupies 240 square meter while the factory occupies 960 square meter. We do this almost the same as we did our previous point. We can add up the floor space and then just take the office floor space 240 over the total and the factory office space 960 over the total and then multiply that by our rent expense. Let's have a look at how we would go about calculating this. We have rent paid. The expense is 9000 multiplied by the 960 square meters divided by the 1200 square meters and then you'll get 7200 and then for the office it's 9000 times 240 divided by 1200 
and in our answer is 1800 so in our manufacturing section we'll have a rent of 7200 and in our profit and loss section we will have rent of 1800 let's have a look at our next point the telephone invoice of 210 has been received but unpaid so we will also need to put through an adjustment for that and our telephone is linked to our office and our office is linked to the profit and loss section so there will be no entry in the manufacturing section the account of a debtor H Konja was written off 530 this also is linked to the office depreciation is to be provided as follows equipment at 20% diminished balance method and vehicles at 15% fixed amount method so your depreciation is for the assets that are used in the factory so our depreciation the cost price of the equipment is 54,300 less the provision for depreciation which is 10,860 and you multiply that with the 20% then you get the depreciation amount of 8,688 and our vehicle's cost price is 44,000 and the percentage is 15% so our answer is 6,600 so our depreciation for equipment will go in the manufacturing section and our depreciation for vehicles will go in the profit and loss section